Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Lang Skip by Crab Studios. The game plays two to four players, takes roughly about 20 to 30 minutes to play, and is for ages 13 and up. And in the game Lang Skip, you are playing as a Viking sentenced to Helheim, but your objective is to climb the ranks and get to Asgard and ask Odin for forgiveness so that you can stay in the ranks of uh, Valhallian as opposed to being stuck in the denizens of the Helheim. Only the first person to get there will have the opportunity to ask Odin to stay, and everybody else will sadly not be able to make it. You will be gathering cards in your hand. You'll be utilizing one of them by secretly attempting to trick or tell the truth to your opponents, allowing you to climb the ranks and receive the uh, points in order to get to the top, which is where Asgard is. Players are going to try and determine if you are deceiving them or not, and whether if it is worth it to allow you to kind of climb the ranks if possible. Everybody's going to have an opportunity to do so, and you're going to keep going through until the deck runs out and all cards have been played, reshuffle and continue playing until one player hits that coveted 20 spot. The moment that happens, the player is the winner of the game that reaches that spot and they can ask Odin to uh, basically stay in Valhalla and everyone else will sadly have to go back to Helheim. That's the game. Let's talk about how it's set up and how it's played and then of course my review. So here we have the game Lang Skip and everything included. Now if you are starting the game off, you're going to be placing the board down, which is going to have spaces from 1 to 20 on it, and then for every player that is playing, they will select a character and place that character on the two space of the board. Set aside the mischief tokens that is within reach of all players, and then go ahead and give every player a player reference card. This will reference every single card in the game that you can utilize. Shuffle the deck of cards provided, and then deal out two cards face down to every single player. After that, select a player to begin, and you can start the, the game. You're going to basically be gathering two cards and then placing down one of them face down. You will then claim a character, and you can claim a character on any of the reference cards or by memory. Basically, there is Loki, Odin, Thor, Frigg, Freya, Hel, Fenrir, a Yogamonder, and of course the Valkyries, and it tells you how many are in each deck. After you place it down and you declare what card it is, whether you're telling the truth or not, doesn't necessarily matter because every player afterward will get to determine if you are making mischief, which is lying, or telling the truth. If everyone thinks you're lying, you can play the card that you called, not the card that you played. So for instance, if I played a Valkyrie that lets me move one space, but instead I claim to play Thor, I can go ahead and move the character two spaces and force a player to discard a card from their hand. Pretty simple, right? The card will go to the discard pile face down, and then you will draw a new card. And the next player will then get a chance to go. Now, when they play a card face down and then they declare it, maybe they will say that it is a... Oh, a hell card. That's the character. And then let's say that one player declares that they are, they are making mischief. If that happens, the card gets revealed. If the player is not making mischief, if they're telling the truth, then they'll get to take the action of the card and the player that claimed that the player was lying will actually move down a space. So for instance, if this player was going next and this player claimed they were telling mischief, they would go down for actually getting it wrong. And then this player would do whatever the card says. This one lets you reveal the top three cards of the discard player card and choose one. In this case, it would just be Fenrir, which lets them move one space up on the board. Then this player would draw a card, and the next player would get a chance to go. And the final uh, I, thing that can happen is you'll play a card, and you will declare the something. Maybe you will say that it is a uh, Valkyrie, right? And then let's say that some player declares that you are lying. If that happens, then you have to reveal, and you are in fact lying, you will lose this card and lose your turn, and the player that called you out as a liar is going to get a mischief token. And mischief tokens will allow you to utilize them when playing cards. Certain cards will give you a benefit when discarding mischief tokens along with them, such as the card Loki that says you can move one space, and if you have the most mischief tokens, you get to move four spaces instead. A very powerful card indeed. When the deck runs out, players will just keep playing cards from their hand until every player has exhausted their hand, then you'll shuffle up the deck, deal two cards out to each player, and continue the game. At a certain point, somebody is going to reach 20, and when that happens, that player will win the game of Langskip. It's pretty simple, right? 
Laying Skip is a bluffing slash deception game. You're trying to play the best cards you possibly can, whether or not you have them, but at a cost. Because if somebody calls you out, you're in trouble, you're gonna lose your turn, and that player will get a benefit, which can make them more formidable as the rounds continue. Not only that, but when telling the truth and being able to gather tokens as well, or utilizing the cards that you play, that can be of benefit too. Now there's a certain number of cards in the deck, and it's stated on your reference card how many of what card are available. Some cards are definitely better than others, but there's a limited number of them. So if you claim something like Loki in your hand, but you in fact don't have Loki and somebody else does, they're going to know that you're lying. It's pretty straightforward as far as that goes. There's a lot of games out there that have a similar style of mechanic, such as Coup, and then the uh, Captains of Infinite Time and Space, which I have somewhere over here, uh, where basically you're trying to deceive people utilizing other abilities that you don't actually have. Uh, in this one here, it plays very similar to that, but instead of it being about life or or losing the cards, you're simply trying to cl collapse this track. You're trying to get to the very top, reaching, of course, the Odin, and hopefully being able to go to Valhalla as opposed to Helheim. It has a solid theme. The cards are all sharing the different types of Asgardian gods that you'll be utilizing throughout the game, and it's rather quick as well. In fact, everybody is also going to be kind of neck and neck the entire game, and it's always possible to go from last place to first place because there are cards that let you switch places, provided you're able to gather mischief tokens. Sometimes it's good to lie, sometimes it's not good to lie. And you have to kind of determine when it is and when it is not appropriate to do so based on the cards that have been played. You'll need a little bit of memory, a little bit of luck, and of course, uh, a strategic nature about when you wanna play things and how. If somebody knows you have a card in hand, but you lie and play the other card pretending it's the card you have, that can be of great benefit, especially when you play cards like Loki more than once or Thor. <laughs> Those can give you tremendous power and strength in this game. It's light it's quick and it's easy to play. The artwork is okay. Um, the style of the game uh, goes with the artwork and the theme kind of melds together. Uh, I would have probably liked to see a little bit more of a detailed style artwork, but this has got more of like a kid's theme and it, it it's kind of a little bit more for like the 13, I guess around that age. I mean, I guess younger kids can play it. Um, but I would have liked to see a little bit more detailed style artwork. The gameplay is solid. If you like Coup when you want a game uh, or you don't have a game like Coup or a deception game, this is not a terrible choice for you. I would have liked to have, to have a little bit more players, but uh, overall it's very solid for a two, three, and four player game. My favorite of course is with four players and I'm hoping that they're probably going to add some type of expansion with the game. Um, and of course the lying aspect is a lot of fun. It works very well and the game always feels like there's a chance that you can come back. Whereas in a game like Coup, it's very likely you're going to lose if somebody picks you off early and you only have one card left. That always bothered me about that game. This one here, it's not about the cards, it's not about HP. It's all about getting to the end of the board. And because of that, you always have an opportunity to advance or basically catch up uh, even halfway through the game when you're so far behind. If this was the case, you would actually be able to switch spaces with a player or switch spaces with the highest player uh, when using certain cards in the game which is nice and works really well for kids. It's a solid, quick, simple, straightforward game that's all about deception, lying, and memory. And if you like that type of game, this is going to be for you. I think that this is going to work for anybody who likes deception games. I had a ton of fun playing it. This one will sit in my collection probably next to Kings of Infin uh, Kings of Space and Time and next to Coup, and I'll basically be deciding which one I play based on the theme. This has some better aspects to it than some of those games and some other aspects I like in other games better, but overall, a very solid, very enjoyable game, something that's light and easy to pick up, and if you don't have a deception game, this is definitely one I would suggest taking a look at to see. And mainly, I think it's going to come down to theme, and the track. Or do you like something with a different type of theme and life or a different type of theme and your cards as uh, your HP points? And that's really what it's going to come down to. But anyway, Langsip is currently available for pickup on Kickstarter. There's a link down below in the description if you'd like to take a look at the game. I highly enjoyed this game and so did everyone I played this with and we played this on a live stream. So there'll be a link down below so you can see us playing it and decide for yourself if it's something for you. Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button and subscribe button. It greatly helps us out here. You can also go ahead and check our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog post, giveaways, Kickstarter list, and more. And our live stream every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST, where we play games just like this one. And in fact, we did play this one on our live stream. 
Uh, Patreon members, thank you so much. I appreciate your donations. It helps us with our live streams and other content that we need. And of course, all of our gear here, every little donation helps and counts. And we do appreciate, appreciate you greatly. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Moonshell Update in the next video. And as always, I look forward to achieving Valhalla with you next time.